As the festive season approaches, South African Breweries has launched its Drive Sharp campaign aimed at discouraging drinking and driving. The campaign is part of SAB's broader mission to promote responsibility through strategic partnerships with government, law enforcement agencies and community organizations. Corporate brand director at SAB, Marsha Kumure, joins us now for more on this conversation. Marsha, thank you so much for your time this evening here on SABC News. Now, as SAB, uh, you have launched the Drive Sharp uh, campaign uh, as, of course, we head into the festive season. Tell us more about it. So the Drive Shop campaign falls part of a, a bigger program. So we have our responsibility program called SAB Sharp. SAB Sharp has four pillars. The first pillar being um, Live Sharp, where we partner um, with the stakeholders and really it's about empowering communities to ensure that we can drive job creation. Then our other pillar is called Talk Sharp, which is really about self-regulating ourselves around responsible communication. And then we also have Sell Sharp, which is focus on our retailers and making sure that they're trading and compliant. Drive Shop, the pillar we're talking about today, is really about deterring um, irresponsible um, consumption, so really deterring drink and driving on the road. Um, and this campaign is really focused, as you said, approaching the festive season to deter South Africans from drinking and driving and really making responsible choices. Mm. And the consequences of uh, drinking and driving are quite immeasurable. And, uh, you know, one would ask, how do you actually plan on discouraging uh, drivers uh, to not drink and drive? So I'll start with what we do on the ground. So we partner with law enforcement um, through alcohol evidence centers. Here we, 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 we equip them with um, the elements that they need in order to arrest people that are uh, breaking the law. And this allows them to be processed a lot quicker and then um, focused on prosecutions. So to date, we have been part of 24,000 arrests across the country. So with this particular campaign, we wanted to complement what we do on the ground with law enforcement um, by driving awareness. So before we get um, before you get arrested at the AECs, it's really to encourage South Africa to make responsible choices. So the way that the campaign is we really applied ourselves and thought what could be a way to really start a conversation with South Africa. And we um, told, we've got two real life stories. So we've got the Oliphants as well as the Samsons who lost um, loved ones to drunk drivers. And we've taken a documentary approach. So they're really just sharing their story of the impact that the death of their loved ones has had on their families and the community. And I think this is really to hopefully encourage South Africans to make the right choice. At the end of the day, our products are really meant to be enjoyed responsibly. And if you are going to have a drink, we really, really encourage you not to get into a car and rather make alternative um, arrangement. Mm, and how important uh, was it to actually tell these stories? I mean, uh, these are much more tangible stories uh, where you can see the results. Uh, how important was it to, to tell these stories and, you know, to show it to the greater public? So it was really, really important for us because, um, you know, there's a lot of, um, we do know that the festive season is, is, we see accidents go up and it really is driven by people's choices, the irresponsible choices that they make. With the stories we were telling, we wanted to show South Africa, you know, the impact um, of this one choice that you make, which is getting behind the wheel and really hearing from, you know, fellow South Africans and who have experienced, you know, um, what, what's happened to them and their families and the communities. And the two um, people that we, the stories we showcase, these people were really active in community. They had dreams, hopes, you know, they had a, a really bright future ahead of them. And not only has their family lost out, but South Africa at large has lost out. So I think for us, it's really around, you know, encouraging people to, you know, to realize that this one choice, the selfish choice that you make to get behind the wheel has so much consequence and impact on others. And all you have to do is not get into a car yeah. um, and we can avoid that. And we really, I think it's very heartbreaking. Um, if you get a chance to watch the films, they are on our YouTube channel. Um, just hearing 
um, these families. And I don't think any family should ever have to go through what they've been through. Mm. And Marsha, do these campaigns actually work? And I ask this because during the festive season, we see a lot of adverts arrive alive, um, you know, billboards when you're driving on the highways and main roads. Uh, you know, are they able to deter uh, motorists to not drink and drive? Particularly, I ask this because when you contrast that, uh, you know, with the accident rate we see from uh, the ministers, we usually see an increase uh, in these uh, type of uh, si situations. So I think for us, we, like I said, we have a dual approach. So we've been working with law enforcement since 2021 um, around alcohol evidence centers. And this is really here, at, um, this is where we really, um, the impact here is seen with the over 24,000 arrests that we've been able to make today with the alcohol evidence centers. And um, when we partner with government, we can see and law enforcement that, you know, when they're equipped with the right equipment, they're able to prosecute and process um, people that are drinking and driving. I think we have still have a long way to go, Bali, um, in really deterring drinking and driving. I think it's important that we continue to drive awareness. Um, and there have been a few campaigns over time. And I think we have to continue to, to, to raise awareness and provoke South Africans in different ways. Um, and the approach we've taken um, this time around is really a more, we believe, a more compelling one. Um, this could have been you, it could have been your mom, it could have been an aunt, it could be, I think you'll identify mm. with the, the two families that we're speaking of. So I think it is important for us to continue to drive awareness, but at the same time, you know, what we're doing as SAB on the ground with law enforcement, um, equipping, equipping them with um, at the alcohol evidence centers so that they are making arrests. So if you choose to break the law, um, you will get arrested. Mm. And what is your advice, uh, you know, to motorists over the festive season um, as we begin to, you know, see a number of people, you know, uh, make their way to holiday and spend more time with their loved ones where alcohol is involved? So, yeah, I think, like I said, our products are meant to be enjoyed responsibly. We've all worked hard over the year. Um, and I think it's really important to, to plan ahead. So the first one is to plan ahead. So if you know you're going to be drinking, um, don't get behind the wheel. Um, use rideshare services. Stay at home if necessary. Um, or you can um, allocate a designated driver. And the designated driver then is really, really responsible to make sure that they don't drink and they get people home. There's alternatives now. If you still want to have uh, a beverage, you can have a non-alcoholic beverage if you are the designated driver. So I think it's really important here to, to plan ahead um, and make choices. And I think as, as friends and family members, if we are seeing someone who was supposed to be driving us home and they have had, um, they've drank, we should really make sure that they don't get, get behind the wheel. I think the message is very clear, don't drink and drive. Marsha, thank you so much uh, for your time. That is uh, Marsha Kumire. She is uh, the Corporate Brand Director at SAB, giving us uh, advice uh, to motorists, uh, of course, uh, as we prepare for the festive season.